you wouldn't believe where I am. I'm in a private island, not in Maldives, not in Bora Bora, but right here in Karnataka, off the coast of Karwar, in an island called as Kurumghar Island. This is the most expensive place that I've stayed at where I have paid for my own pocket and that is for a reason. I mean, it's not often that you learn about a private island in Karnataka with a rich history and where you're allowed to stay, right? Now, let's start from the beginning, from where we started our journey to the island. By now, we already had our reservations and coordinated with the staff on the ferry pickup point. The pickup times are usually between 9 am and 4 pm, so it's better to arrive here during the day to avoid high tides. During the monsoons, however, the island and the resort is closed and they don't accept any reservations. But during other times, you will be able to access this private island if you have a prior booking. So what do I mean when I say that it's a private island? Let me give you a bit of a backstory. It's believed that the Portuguese discovered this island around the same time Vasco da Gama discovered India. After nearly 400 years, the ownership transferred to an Indian family from the Portuguese when they left these shores. Little Earth group of hotels have leased this place since 2016 to build Chintakor Island Resort the only resort in this privately owned island. It's the story that makes a place exciting, isn't it? And this place definitely has a unique selling point. The more I found out about this place, the more I wanted to explore this completely off the radar island. Fifteen cabins, a restaurant, a bar and an infinity pool make up this unique island resort. Since there are only 15 cabins available, it's better to book ahead. On the other hand, it's not going to be crowded as they only accept limited people here. So you can be rest assured that you will have privacy and freedom that you so desire when you arrive in this little paradise. Each of the cabins here are named after a marine creature. We stayed in a cabin called Halibut. Welcome to our room. The best part here is of course the view. The rooms are quite comfortable but nothing luxurious I would say. It's tastefully done and I like when hotels provide water in glass bottles without even asking and little thoughtful things like leaving a note and chocolates for a turn down service. By the way, that's actually the geo location of this property. How cool is that? And I'm here with uh, another Raksha. <laughs> we went to Netrani Island, we did diving there and we are here now. How are you feeling so far? Lots and lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, this is supposed to be the scuba diving sign for fun. I just <laughs> accidentally found out about this place. It's so uh, unique in that sense, right? Uh, most of us wouldn't even have heard about it. So I'm excited to be here. That you see there is the Arabian Sea. I have read a lot of good reviews about this place. It says they are, it's picturesque, it's a paradise and all that. So I thought I'd find out for myself and maybe take you along and see if it's worth the hype so let's go so i'm on my way to the beach right now which i think is like 10 minutes walk from here so in the meanwhile let me update you about this interesting island first of all there's a lot of greenery and uh, they were saying that they did not want to cut down the trees so they kind of kept it that way which is why sometimes it's obstructed the view is view of the ocean is like obstructed by the trees but i think that's good right like i said before chintakor island resort started in 2016 
about 5 years ago but interesting thing is even before that they had tents set up in this island just that and it was called the great outdoor or something so imagine that just coming here taking a ferry and coming to this island just to stay in a tent like you can imagine how cool that was too right and that's the private beach you guys you know this actually reminds me of mauritius i haven't been there but it looks quite similar because you know there's a lot of uh, greenery like this and then there is a beach right so i feel like could be similar <laughs> to mauritius <laughs> and raksha has a blog solo passport so go check it out and she also has videos she does videos and she is going to make videos on netrani island diving in netrani so you might want to check that out as well yes yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> just come promote karnataka and karnataka is extremely beautiful it's our state yeah and uh, we would love to welcome you guys the hotel staff recommended us to watch sunset by the pool so that's what we did we are here in the pool now and that's the view of the ocean at sunset how beautiful is that So we are here on a trail right inside the island or like a nature trail of sorts and there are like multiple view points that we saw so far and uh, it's just absolutely wonderful so much of nature and the arabian sea view hard combination to beat you know There's also a Narasimha Swami temple in the island which you can go to as part of the nature trail. That's the neighboring island of Devgarh where you can find a French lighthouse dating back to 1932. They can also arrange tours to the lighthouse if you are interested. There are plenty of other things to do as well here apart from nature trail and lighthouse tour. You can go dolphin watching, sunrise and sunset cruises, water sports like kayaking, jet skiing, banana boat ride. There are also talks of starting scuba diving here, which would be really exciting. It's best to check with the hotel staff on what do they have available once you arrive here. I really like the lavish and edgy interiors of the restaurant Nemo's Tech. They have Indian and continental cuisine available here and I found food prices quite decent considering that it's a four star hotel and that they get all their supplies from mainland Karwar. It's just about 20 minutes from the mainland and there are multiple jetty rides in a day so I guess that helps. How was the trek? The trek that yeah. was really nice. The nature walk was amazing with so stunning amazing. views. Yeah. such stunning views and we also saw a sea eagle catching a snake yeah that's pretty cool apart from that there's also a lounge bar and a beach bar you know i'm not one to spend money on luxurious stays i love to be out and exploring when i'm traveling and usually prefer a budget stay so that i can make money last longer for travels Having said that, I don't regret coming here one bit because it's more than just a stay, right? This is an experience. Staying in a private island in Karnataka 
I mean, I did not even know that was even possible up until a month ago. And that in a sense is travel for me. It was stunning and truly one of a kind experience. You tell me, will you ever visit this island?